So good day again to everyone. We're back. We're on our second video lecture and this will be the first part of our course Introduction to Industrial Arts and it's going to be about electricity. So expect that um, by October to November or until the first week of December probably we're going to talk about electricity. So we have here three pictures of individuals that had great contribution in electricity. So on your own, can you name them and their contribution? Maybe try to recall the lex lectures that you've had when you were in high school. Or try using the internet to search their background if you know their names also so that you can easily search them. I'll give you probably um, 30 seconds to think about who are these famous people. Okay, so time's up and I do hope you have um, figured out who are these people in these pictures. So let's talk about the first picture. Ayan, sino kaya to? It's Benjamin Franklin. So remember his um, story, well not really story but more of historical um discovery about electricity wherein he was flying a kite parang nagconduct siya ng small experiment tapos at, at the end nung, nung string MA I, I think that was key tapos when lightning strikes the the kite dun niya na discover na ah, merong um, electricity dito okay so, Benjamin Franklin was the first person to coin and use the terms positive and negative charge. So, he discovered through experiments that electricity is not generated by rubbing two objects, but it's rather transformed from one object to the other. So, just like his experiment nga. So, Franklin also discovered that positive and negative charge is always balanced in all objects in nature. So, this balance is achieved by transfer of positive charge from a higher charge to a lower charge body. So, ito yung, itong principle na to ay yung conservation of electricity. So, mama di discuss natin siya pero not thoroughly ang importante ay malaman natin ang basics of electricity so siguro naririnig niyo to yung charge or discharging in terms of electricity ha so Benjamin Franklin was the first person to use those terms okay next we have this guy is uh, Thomas Edison. So, he's famous for what he is holding here is the light bulb. And um, after he devised a commercially viable electric light bulb, then he developed an electric utility to compete with the existing gas light utilities. So, dati kasi, di ba, lampara o kaya ang ilaw ay um, it's being lit by a gas. Pero yun sa kanya, um, ang gamit na ay electricity. Okay? So, he founded the Edison Illuminating Company and during the 1880s, he patented a system for electricity distribution. Okay, so last is Nikola Tesla. Actually, si Nikola Tesla, Tesla, sorry, naging magka-work sila nito. 
So, si Nikola Testa, Tesla, he worked for Thomas Edison parang for a year lang. Pero, nagkaroon sila ng conflict between uh, Thomas Edison. I think it's about the, the culture, the work culture. So, eventually, umalis din siya dun sa uh, company ni Thomas Edison. So, he was an engineer, scientist, who is known for designing the alternating alternating current. So, ito na yung pag-uusapan natin in the next few slides. So, the AC electric system. So, ang ibig sabihin ng AC electric system, um, ito yung may, may loop, yung, yung charges, yung circuit. Okay, so this is predominant electrical system unit, which is used until now across the world. So, ang laki talaga ng discovery na yun. He also created the Tesla coil, which is still used in radio technology. So, with that, um, three people we have discussed that had great contribution to electricity. Now, let's define electricity. So, I have here different definitions of electricity from different dictionaries. So, ayan, a uh, fundamental form of energy observable in positive and negative forms that occurs naturally as in lightning or is produced as in a generator. And that is expressed in terms of the movement and interaction of electrons. So, medyo mapupunta rin tayo sa science in our discussion. Um, it's also a form of energy that is carried by wires. And it's used for heating and lighting and to provide power for machines. So, the Cambridge Dictionary definition is also quite the same. And for Britannica, this is a phenomenon associated with stationary or moving electric charges. So, an electric charge is a fundamental property of matter and is borne by elementa elementary particles. In electricity, the particle involved is the electron, which carries a charge designated by convection as negative. Thus, the various manifestations of electricity are the result of the accumulation or motion of numbers of electrons. By the way, if electron is negative, what is the positive charge naman? Please still remember. So, on your own, try to recall or search on Google what's the answer. Okay, so we have here the definition of terms. Um, I'll give you some time to... Uh, screenshot it or read it on your own because during our discussion during this video lecture uh, we're gonna talk some mostly of these terminologies Okay, so first, let's understand electric current. So to define, this is the flow or rate of flow of electric force in a conductor. A current will only flow if a circuit is formed comprising a complete loop and contains all the following required components. So yung mga components na kailangan para magkaroon tayo ng electric current ay source of voltage, a closed loop of wiring, an electric load, a means of opening and closing the circuit. So, ito yung example ng electric current. So, kung mapapansin nyo may loop, right? So, may flow or rate of flow of electric force. Um, manggagaling tong, tong flow na to, dun nga sa... Uh, source of voltage, tas yan nga may closed loop of wiring. So, ito yung mga wires mo. Ayan. And then, um, an electric load. Okay. So, dito yung uh, electric load mo. Then, meron kang switch to open and close the circuit. So, that's basically the electric current. Kailangan may flow 
or rate of flow of electric force. So we have two categories for electric current. First one is direct current. So when we say direct current, these are uh, electric charge, or yung current, only flows in one direction or in an unidirectional flow of current. So everything that runs off of a battery plugs into the wall with an AC adapter or uses a USB cable for power relies on DC. So this is an example of a direct current. Ito pa yung isang niyang example. So, ito ay isang uh, water tank. Okay, so, with a hose at the end, ito nga, with a hose at the end, the tank can only push water one way. So, ang pag paglabas or ang current ay palabas lang hanggang dito. Okay. So, similar to our DC producing battery, once the tank is empty, water no longer flows through the pipes. Parang ganito, um, yung USB cable, pag sinaksakan mo yan ng, uh, ng connector, ng USB connector din. So, yung flow ng electricity from your laptop to uh, palabas dun sa, sa USB. Similarly, when you're charging too, so from um, from the source, which is yung outlet to your phone. Okay? So, uh, it only flows in one direction lang. While alternating current, so dito naman, electric charge current, or current changes direction periodically. So, nag-iiba-iba nga yung, um, yung direction ng current dito. So, it's used to deliver power to houses, office buildings, and so on. So, di ba nga sa, sa bahay, yung mga wiring natin, hindi lang naman yan uh, one way lang or whatsoever. So, pa-loop din ito. So, a loop of wire is spun inside of a magnetic field which induces a current along the wire. The rotation of the wire can come from any number of means. It can be a, wind, a wind turbine, a steam, flowing water, and so on. So, because the wire spins and enters a different magnetic polarity periodically, the voltage and current alternates on the wire. So, this is a short animation showing that principle. So, let me... Uh, oh, it's not playing pala. <laughs> anyway, so, this is an example. So, ang nangyayari dito... Okay, there. It's playing. <laughs> so, yan. That is an example of how alternating current looks like. Okay, so for the next topic, for our succeeding video, we're gonna talk about the ohms, law naman, voltages, and so on. Okay, so thank you for watching and please wait for the next video lecture.